Okay, this might sound a little wild, but it's true. Scientists are developing a therapy to stop the progression of type 1 diabetes by cloning cows. Spoiler alert, there's a little girl who was told over four years ago that she was in the early stages of developing type 1 diabetes, and she still doesn't need daily insulin therapy today, thanks to some of this science. I'll tell you a little bit more about her later in this video. Okay, so Saab Biosciences is using genetically engineered cows and replacing the cow's natural immunoglobulin, or IgG, with human IgG. I'll explain what all that means in a minute. Basically, they're developing a therapy that boosts your body's natural beta cell production. Beta cells are the cells that produce insulin, and that therapy protects those cells from your immune system. So this is considered a disease-modifying therapy because it could potentially preserve a person's ability to produce insulin in the earlier stages of type 1 diabetes. Okay, but there's actually two goals with this medication because first, it can help people who are newly diagnosed and still producing some of their own beta cells, their own insulin. But what about those of us who've lived with type 1 diabetes for decades? We're not making a whole bunch of beta cells anymore. Sab Bio has not forgotten about us. Sab could possibly partner with companies that have developed beta cell replacement therapies like Vertex or Cernova. Those companies have cells that can produce insulin and they can make lots and lots of those cells in their lab. Sab has a therapy that can protect those cells from your immune system. Voila, sounds like a dream partnership to me. All right, let's take a closer look at this groundbreaking research. First, who the heck is Saab Biosciences and why have you never heard of them before? Saab was founded in 2014 by a group of very smart people in South Dakota, including a molecular biologist, Eddie Sullivan, who is currently president of the company. This company actually first made headlines during the COVID-19 pandemic when they developed an anti-COVID drug as part of Operation Warp Speed. But in 2023, they pivoted to focus all their energy and research on type 1 diabetes. Through partnerships with Breakthrough T1D, formerly JDRF, and other investors, they secured enough financing to continue their research. Saab's current CEO is Sam Reich, and he's a bit of a smarty pants. He's a molecular biologist and an entrepreneur. In fact, his previous work involves co-founding a company that developed a groundbreaking treatment for epilepsy. All right, let's get back to those cows. One of the coolest and most unique things that Saab is doing in the development of their therapy is with the help of cloned cows. These cows live a luxurious life in South Dakota. In fact, their barn is even air conditioned, so don't worry about the cows. These cows are pretty normal in almost every way but one. They've been genetically modified to produce human immunoglobulin, also known as IgG. All right, what the heck is immunoglobulin or IgG? Immunoglobulins are also known as antibodies. They are a set of proteins that help your body fight infection. Your body makes lots of different kinds of immunoglobulins as part of your natural immune system. The IgGs are the most common kind, and they're typically found in your blood and your tissue fluids. Those IgGs help your body fight off infection or fight off cells that are diseased or dying. The fact that they're producing human IgG in cows is a very big deal for a few reasons. Okay, so first, the only way you can normally get human IgG to treat a variety of medical conditions is through plasma donations. That means healthy people signing up every month to spend hours and hours donating their plasma through an IV. Today, there's actually a constant need for human plasma donations. And you can actually make a surprising amount of money donating plasma. Plasma can actually be used today to treat a variety of severe critical medical conditions. Okay, but the second reason why producing human IgG in cows is such a big deal is a bit more complicated. Today, there is a medication called thymoglobulin. It's used to support patients who've just received an organ transplant and it contains rabbit 
IgG, but it can do something pretty cool. And this relates to type one diabetes. It tells the T cells in your immune system to stop attacking and destroying things like the cells in your pancreas that produce insulin. The rabbit IgG can actually reset your immune system so that it does not want to attack and destroy those very important cells in your pancreas. So why aren't we all just getting regular doses of fancy rabbit thymoglobulin? Well, there's a catch. With the rabbit IgG, you can only take this serum once for any condition. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Your support means a lot to me and a little bit goes a long way. Even the people who only take this once are still likely to develop serum sickness. It's very dangerous, it's life-threatening, and it's definitely not worth the risk of taking rabbit IgG a second time. Remember that little girl I mentioned earlier? Her father has type one diabetes. When she was eight years old, her father had her tested for the autoantibodies that indicate the earlier stages of type one diabetes. Those antibodies develop when your immune system starts attacking your pancreas, but it can actually take years before blood sugar levels start to rise and you develop obvious symptoms of type one. So that brave little girl was enrolled in an earlier study with physicians at the University of Florida, where she received a single dose of the rabbit version of this medication. Four years later, she has still not progressed to needing daily insulin and her blood sugars are totally normal. Sounds great, right? But the problem is that scientists don't think one dose of this medication will last a lifetime. But she can't receive a second dose because this is rabbit IgG, not human IgG. And that's why we need Sab Biosciences to keep going with developing the human version of this medication. Their phase one clinical trial already shows that their human form of thymoglobulin does not cause serum sickness. That's a big deal. By the way, SAB will be able to manufacture as much of this human IgG as we need, which means they'll never be dependent on human plasma donations. They can make an endless supply thanks to the cows. But this breakthrough will do more than just help people with diabetes. This could help a variety of chronic conditions that are related to the immune system. Okay, so right now, SAB is conducting a clinical trial in Australia looking for people who are recently diagnosed with type one diabetes. It's important that you've been very recently diagnosed because your body would still be producing enough beta cells to produce some insulin on your own. Eventually, their clinical trial will open up to people who are in stage two of type one diabetes, which means you've tested positive for autoantibodies, but you don't need to start insulin therapy yet. If you're curious about autoantibody testing, your friends, your children, your family, anybody can get tested for the autoantibodies of type one diabetes through TrialNet or Enodia. These two organizations drive the research on curing and preventing type one diabetes. And I know everybody's gonna wonder why Australia? Why is there a clinical trial in Australia? Well, apparently Australia is really supportive of clinical research and that clinical research is also embraced by the FDA. Eventually, SAB does plan to bring their clinical trials and their research to Europe and North America. Stay tuned because 2025 is going to be a very big year for this research. I am truly looking forward to hearing their next update. And let's make sure we don't forget to thank those scientists at SAB Biosciences. Thank you for dedicating so much of your energy and your expertise to this work. And of course, thank you to the cows.